All right, boss man, Fed, I appreciate you for stopping through Dallas Wall Street. Appreciate you for having me, bro. Man, so um, first off, uh, for the people that don't know who you are, let them know who you are. My name is Boss Man Fat. Call me Fat from Baton Rouge, Northside Baton Rouge. Born and raised, Louisiana. So, how was it growing up in the BR? BR, man, man it's kind of crazy. Violence, drugs, killing, hate. Just gotta make it up for real. Yeah. So, what what brings you to Dallas? Shit, my talents. <laughs> the Lord blessed me with a lot of talents, and He put me, He put me in the place that He wanted me. So I'm blessed and I'm thankful. Yeah. So uh, for a lot of people that they don't know they, that you play football, you know what I'm saying. And so, like, how was it like being a, a athlete? You know what I'm saying, coming up where you came from. Being an athlete, it was, it was, it was, it was something like we always was raised up on, just competing, just out in the yard, pick up sticks, playing baseball, just seeing who who could run the fastest. It was, I think, just something like in Louisiana. Yeah. <laughs> but it put me on the national, like national list, just just by staying focused and. All just wanted to do it. So, what, like, was it a point, like, that you knew that, like, I, I might be able to really, like, do something with this? Yeah, like, my eighth grade, yeah, I was, that's when I first started scoring a lot of touchdowns. Yeah. I really, like, in the league, but eighth grade got more realistic because that's when, like, cop, coaches was coming to my games and, she, and they was just. Yeah. Okay, um, so talk about like the the difference, like the of the culture of going from from Baton Rouge to going to Kentucky. Going from Baton Rouge to Kentucky, it was it was way a whole culture shift. Like, <laughs> I ain't lying. They said to me with open arms though in Kentucky. Yeah, I, I met I met Oscar in Kentucky. My cameraman visual by Oscar. Yeah. I'm gonna see him later on. We're gonna chop it up. But Kentucky, that's how I made it to one but nah, like just with my football and stuff. I took a chance of leaving Louisiana, my dream school, LSU. And, uh, yeah, so so was it like a was it like like just a difference of like, you know, cause you know, growing up how we come up you know, you kind of have to have a wall up and, you know, you kind of can't trust a lot of people. You had to move different and then going to a university that big, was it like a, was it weird, you know what I'm saying, meeting all these different people? It was kind of like, like, I ain't saying that. It was more relaxed, but still like just on game watching for, for everybody who tried to try something because like Kentucky, Lexington, it still be having stuff going on. Yeah. On the college and the school side, I was chill. I met a lot of friends, met a lot of people that I'm connected with. I'm doing a lot of business here. So yeah. So in the midst of all of this, like, what, 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 where does your passion for music come from? My little brother, I lost my little brother when I was younger. I got off the bus, just seeing a lot of Eminem at the house. At my grandma's house, I'm thinking my, it was my grandma, but it was my little brother. Yeah. I'm in the pool. Mm. And they, they ain't really let me go over there, go see him. And then they just yeah. fucked me up ever since, for real. That's what I do it for my family, my little brother. That's my passion, my will. So that's when you kind of just got into it, when you got into music. Um, was it somebody inspiring that inspired you to, like a musician that inspired you to? In, to start music, to get well, to for your sound. I don't know. I just really start rapping. I listen to a lot of rappers, so. but I got my. I feel like I got my own sound. You start rapping like ten grade. Yeah, when I was in high school, me and my homeboy Javante. 
Yeah. So, uh, I want to uh, ask, like, right now, who who do you work with, like, far as production on your music? I work with, I work with Real In The Field, Bird On The Beat, DJ Kill. I got boys. Yeah. I got a couple more that I'm working with. Um, okay. Man, I got some heat on the way, for real. New tape on the way. And you just dropped the love scores. Yeah. Man, I I I, I listen to it, you know, so now I rock with it, it jam. Yeah. Love scores. I ain't even dropped the real song, Love Scores on Love Scores. <laughs> like, I started off with one song called Love Scores. And that's where the album came from? Yeah. So why Love Scores? Like, like we've been ready for having Love Scores. Going through a lot of stuff, losing my brother, but it prepared me for everything. I feel like, like the song go, love scars. We've been ready for war. How you telling me I'm changing? I've been started from the start. Yeah. Like, <laughs> so y'all can hear it. it go like that. So. so what's your favorite track off the album? My favorite track off. I like all of them. <laughs> I feel like it rolled front to back. Y'all should go tune in for real. Yeah. And so um, you just dropped uh, a video to to uh, think about the struggle. Yeah. You know, uh, let's talk about that record. Why why uh, why you chose to release that the video to that record first? Because like my cousins growing up, I feel like I lost a lot of my cousins to the jail system. And that was a way that I connected with them through, like, just talking to them on the phone. So, like, that's good. jail calls and jail mail, like, that's the times we can't never make up. Like, for real, that's the time we can't get back. I got time that I can't get with my cousins because they, they was gone, locked up. They yeah. still got something locked up. And that's a part of my motivation, too. Just my grandma knowing that all that she put behind us how far she want us to go. And, and now, now we got a chance to turn up for her and, and go mm-hmm. through it. And just having different obstacles in the way. I feel like they, they prepared us for it. Yeah, so, so what, what are those jail calls like? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, talking to those family members and knowing y'all came from the same thing and they see that you are, you know what I'm saying, prospering in life right now. Yeah. Knowing my cousins still, they watching them, and they ain't, they ain't, they ain't hating on me. Like, they, they proud of me, and they wish they can be here. And I know that I'm supporting them, even though they, like, they threw it out their whole situation. So when they come home, like, they don't be on the same shit. Yeah. Like, you know, teaching each other, not the do's and the don'ts. Just conversation like that. Chasing every moment for real. Yeah. For life. So man, how do you balance music and playing in the NFL? I feel like music. I just do it like in spare time for real. Like just go to the crib, just make a song. Yeah, like, yeah. I really gotta go out for real because I I have out the little studio stuff. So just pull up. So what's your what's your creative process like? You know, do you like call a producer over, have them sing some beats? Do you write? Do you punch in? I, I most of the freestyle, just like get different beats from different producers, see how I'm feeling that day, and just vibe out for real. Yeah. Um, like what 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 message are you um, trying to push towards your fans? You know your Fans and far as you know, the NFL and your music fans. I feel like a lot of people they feel they changed, like they changed on me. Thought I wasn't gonna make it this far, so I feel like I use that as motivation. I'm thankful that they did that. Like it's kind of weird that because people be still trying to turn around and come back. Is there any artists that you want to collaborate with that you haven't? 
I'm I'm tight with NBA, NBA young boy, Cap, Corn Dog. So I'm gonna do songs with them. But like future artists, I'm not really sure right now. Not, yeah, yeah. Not really off the top of my head. I did something with the Papa. He hard. I mean, shit, you just named the hottest niggas in the NBA and Captain. Yeah, right now I got I got my artist. I'm finna sign for Baby Quay. Yeah, he nice. He from, he from Georgia. Yeah, he play football too. That's crazy. Temple. Yeah. University of Temple. Out there in Philly. So, you, so you got a label? Yeah. You, What's know, the, you know the vibe music. You know the vibe music, and uh, that, how many artists you have? That's right, right now, I've got two artists. Two artists. Yeah. So what? What? What do you see? Um, how far do you see yourself going in the music industry? Like, how do you? How far do you plan on going? I feel like I'm gonna be at the top one day in the music and on the football field, just, just because I'm being me and, and my music is hard. A lot of people don't feel it, but a lot of people don't feel it. <laughs> nah, your shit hard, man. Your shit hard. And so, all right, to, I mean, you, you rarely have a lot of athletes that's, for, for one, that's good at making music, right? And that's good at playing football. So you already got the sound, you know what I'm saying? It's like, so what What gives you the, um, the just the motivation to just be like, man, I, I'm a football player. I made it at this dream. What gives you the motivation to just be like, you know, I'm going to still work on my other passion and want to be great at this too? Yeah. Repeat that one more time. That was, that was. <laughs> like, what, what, like, motivates you to, to like, you know, because you, you, yeah, to, 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 to live a dream and to, Continue to chase another one. Yeah. It's just, just like hobbies for real. Expressing my pain with the music, just make my music way better and make me want to just keep recording. Because I vent, instead of talking to somebody, I could just vent to the mic and make, make some new songs. Express how I feel for real. Yeah, and I mean, I think that that's really the major because. You know, a lot of these uh, athletes, they feel like they can, they just have to be one thing at one time. You know what I'm saying? And that's really not true. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You could really be a multifaceted, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's a few athletes that have made it as a rapper and, you know what I'm saying, that have had successful careers, but. Yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> nah, nah, real talk. Nah, real talk. I just had, like, a dream, man. And the goals that I set that I want to do and I'm doing, a lot of people just try to control you. Like you're the public or something. But nah, sometimes you just got to take control of your life and on what you want to do and, and set boundaries and set goals on what you want and go for it for real. And how, yeah, understand. Yeah, and how important do you feel it is to have like a, a team around you, like a genuine people? Yeah, like you can't do nothing without your team. Team, a solid team, large, bun, for real. Because, shit, I can't always do it by myself. You can't always do it by yourself. Everybody need a helping hand in some type of way, some form. Like, make each other better. Yeah. We, all, we all can bring something to the table, and that's going to make it better for everybody. So what what are you uh, working on currently? Like, what what's, what's you pushing? Right now, I got a tape. I'm finna drop some videos on the way. Yeah. I got I got businesses that I have. My merch out right now. I got some boss man fat merch. I got you know the vibe merch. Where, where can they find it? I got that on my Instagram, boss man fat fat merch, and yeah, you can follow boss man fat. You know. You know the vibe of music. Yeah. All right, so we uh, brought your cameraman in that you, that you spoke on earlier. Uh, 
that you said you met in uh, Kentucky. Yeah. So, I mean, uh, talk about how y'all met. I met him in Kentucky. One of his homeboys wrote me, like, on the spam page, like, like 10 follows. <laughs> and I was just on my phone one day, just so happy to click and read. And, like, and I, I read it, he said, you need to work with uh, my bro, Oscar, which was by Oscar. He's next up. At that time, Oscar had, like, a hundred to fifty followers. Right now, he's going up. Two K. Yeah. So, what what made you uh what made y'all make the uh, spam account and reach out or what what made you reach out? No, I didn't make it. He just did it by, by himself. Yeah, can I do this? <laughs> oh, he just did it on his own. Yeah. So did he he seen he seen some music he seen some music or was it just from? He's like a Kentucky fan, so he be keeping up with like all for the, the players. players. And he, yeah, it seemed like he had, like makes music, so he just trying to link us up because I I shoot music videos. Yeah. So we, so what made you just decide to to bring him with you? I just my first video like I tried him out. I was like I'm gonna see what he bought for real. I like his work. My first video of that mug was, it was different, like, it was hard. <laughs> At that time, he was, like, 17, maybe 16, 17. Yeah, like, 17. You asked him the day, like, you still in school? <laughs> yeah, he was still in high school. I'm like, damn. So, I had to ask, I had to ask, I had to tell these people to drop him out to my crib. <laughs> <laughs> So was this your your younger brother that done this or your older brother? That's like a homeboy. From oh, your homeboy. Okay. Yeah. So man, that's that's crazy. And and y'all was in high school. And he reached out. Yeah. So so did you did you um I mean how did you feel about that? I mean once he told you that that he reached out that your homeboy reached once your homeboy told you that he reached out to him and he responded. I didn't really know until like later. Like Then from there, tapped in. And every video that we shot, it was just better and better. I'm like, I gotta sign him. Like, it's gonna be the first one I sign before we in the artist. <laughs> man, yeah, that's dope. Everybody. So man, fresh out of high school, you signed with Boss Man Fact. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> so I mean, um, I mean, what what's your plans, man? Like, so are you gonna like? Do you direct all the videos or just shoot them or you do you Yeah, it really just be me. I don't know. I'll probably just make a team so I can get even bigger. Yeah. Bigger videos. Tell them tell them tell them who you work with. Like all the artists. Yeah, so who yeah, what artists have you worked with? There's a couple of videos for PIN. Um we had a shot video with Lil Papa, but not too long ago. Okay. That's dope. Yeah, man, working. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, what what plans do you have? Like, do you see for his videos? And that you like, how big do you picture him? I'm just trying to make it like even bigger than this one, like right now. All the moments that, like the draft. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. yeah. Documentaries on the way. Flow. Yeah. 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 <laughs> this is my eyes is icy. <laughs> so that's is that your Instagram? Yeah, visuals by Oscar. Man, so yeah, man, y'all know how lit the how lit your boy, man. If y'all wanna get that fire. Yeah. And I appreciate y'all for stopping by, man. Appreciate you, bro.
Thank you, man. For sure.